Hey guys, John Luxa here, back with our blind playthrough of Undertale. <clears throat> so Manny ran off. He went to, uh, reluctantly eat the food that was left over in his bowl. Because, you know, you can't eat, you can't eat food that's like an hour old. You just, you just can't. You have to eat fresh. Fresh only. Only. So, yeah. Uh, I'm recording this... You know, after the, uh, after the end of that last episode, you know, got a little bit of water, had some, had a little bit of food, poured the rest of my beer into this glass. Hmm. And just, um, watched a really fast video from, uh, Upper Echelon Gamers about, um, You know how scammers are, are taking YouTube channels and essentially hacking into them, uh, disabling the two-factor authentication and uh, using them to to scam people, basically. So let me just uh, hit continue real fast and, and well, I don't know if I doubt this pauses it. It's going to keep running the timer, but whatever. Um... They brought up something that I wanted to talk about, which is the P-score. So, P-score, P-score, it stands for um, performance score, although in my mind I interpret it more as profitability score, because that's essentially what it is. YouTube is taking each, they have one per video and one per channel, and so it's basically just a single number that they use to say this video is you know, that they compare to other videos with. And the higher your number, the more profitable you are to advertisers. Uh, so, unfortunately, the lower you are as well, the more they can uh, deprioritize, blacklist, and otherwise hide your channel from the algorithm. Like this guy, right? Um, not just because I'm a small, small channel, which is a factor as well, I assume. I don't know my actual score, I'm just guessing, right? Uh, but you can do some tests with, you go search for me on Google and then search for me on Bing and see where you stack up in the uh, in the results. And uh, it's, it's interesting, right? On Google, I show up on page, I think two, maybe three. You know, page one is full of like, you know, real estate agents, which is weird because they're not even in the state that I'm in. And then, uh, you know, on Bing, I'm like, you know, one, two, three, whatever. It shows videos by me first. And then um, I think there's another someone else and then me again. So it's interesting, very interesting. But I'm just bringing this up just in case something does happen to the channel or when. When might be the better question. Um, just because... Mm, excuse me, on December 10th of 2019, if you see this in the future, they're going to change the terms and conditions to make it easier for them to get rid of uh, channels that are not economically viable, which at first I don't think they're going to do anything with, really. I think they're going to use it to get rid of wrong think in preparation for a certain event that's going to happen in 2020, you know, involving the U.S., right? Um... So I think they're going to do that first, and then after the dust settles on that one, they're going to start. I mean, you know, it's it's. If you've seen my my video about YouTube strangling itself, you'll know you'll know this is what they're going to do. They're going to start. You know, getting rid of people, basically. So, in the event that this does happen, you can uh, follow or subscribe or whatever on BitChute. That's where all these videos the entire backlog or the entire channel is not over on BitChute. I unfortunately haven't saved every single video. Uh, there are some, and then I stopped on BitChute for a while because it's a huge pain in the ass. And then, uh, and then I started again, maybe, maybe halfway through the Dark Souls 3 playthrough. Um, so, you know, if someone wants to mirror my channel, I mean, you know... I'm a tiny channel. Don't worry about it. It's not worth 
it's uh it's a violation of the terms of service to download stuff off of youtube so just uh just fyi don't don't risk yourselves but if someone wants to be my guest um you know i'm not i'm certainly not big enough to though so so don't worry about it um i'm saying this like for in the future if my channel survives and someone wants to then then they can go ahead uh but i am over on bitshoot and these videos do get mirrored kind of over there there's there's something where um bitchu will basically grab the uh the videos they don't always though so i try and i just i check every day or two and if it doesn't get a video then i'll then i'll upload it um but yeah so just just in case that happens you know bitchu is an option for me um I do have an account on Twitch that I never use because all you have to do is name how many genders you think you are or there are, and you get cut from from Twitch. So we'll see. So we'll see. I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I'm kind of delaying the episode a little bit, but um, but yeah, it's a it's a serious kind of issue. Um, we will see. It's it's so silly too. I feel like YouTube could make a ton more money if they um took advantage of their the unique opportunities that their platform presents i'll probably make a video about that as well hmm because i've been thinking about it i thought about it on the way home and i'm like why has nobody thought about this yet it's basically um what is it like infomercials but you know, it's it's the digital age. So, you know, anyway. Anyway, continuing on, if you do, you know, just want to ensure that... I mean, if you do really like my content and you want to kind of watch what I have to offer regardless of what happens, uh, BitChute is the closest mirror to the channel that I currently have. So, but if not, that's fine too. Um, I intend to do this for a while for a while yet so we'll see we'll see what happens um but anyway let's uh let's move on i'm I'm really curious i expect we're gonna fight undine here in a second there are two bridges we or is that the shadow i don't know what that is right definitely undine every time we get shadowed like this it's undine i think undine we haven't yeah that's what they said right Oh, crap. Can I move? No. Ah, I see. Like this, huh? So it's kind of like you have to be... Ah, oh, oh, crap! Oh, no! You... Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Mm, that was me being dumb. Well, that's... yeah. It seems to be going faster. I don't even know if this is the right way. Ah! Oh, no! Ooh. Okay, well. Whoa! Okay, where am I supposed to go? Oh, that was... I was trying to... Oh, I'm gonna get killed. I was trying to... Like, I got stuck on the edge there. And honestly, I was like, Oh, this is easy. But no, it seems to be going super fast. And... Oh, no. I'm toast. I'm dead. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Actually, no, I might not die. I'll probably just... Well, oh no, oh no, Jesus. Yep, we're dead. <sighs> Our fate rests upon you. What does that mean? John, stay determined. Our fate 
The fate of the monsters? I don't know. Uh, okay. Let's pause here for a moment. Hmm. Yeah, I'll stay determined. I've honestly given it some thought what I want to do if the channel were to get terminated, right? Because it seems like with the agenda and stuff, anything could happen, right? But honestly, I don't, I don't know. My original thought was... My original thought was keep making videos, which, you know, is still possible. Ooh, that was a close one. Hang on, I never went. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say it never went up, but... It's getting faster. How about no? And this is not good. Not good. Wait, did I get hit that time? Oh, oh, I can't. I, oh, Manny, 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 Manny. Now's not the time, Manny. Manny, move, move, move. Okay, thank you. I don't know if you saw him. He was right in the way. Like, besides, he just wanted to stand right in front of the monitor. Sorry, Manny, I didn't mean to be so mean, but it's not a great time to be honest. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, I love you, Manny, but, but don't. Don't do that. Whoa, 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 all right. Oh, hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, there you go. Just gotta keep moving. Thank you, Manny, for not getting in the way again. Is this... I still can't pull up. Menu. There's Undine. Oh. Weird. Well, thank you, Manny. I kind of like picked him up and just moved him. Picked him up by the belly. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? How are we doing on time? Time is good. Do you want to get in my lap, cutie? Yeah, it's... <sighs> Stuff like that is really bad, because he'll walk and where he's... He basically, like, you cut off the bottom part of the monitor, like the bottom 50%, and that's, uh, imagine Manny standing in front of the, in front of the monitor, and that's where you go. Do you want to get in my lap now, or you just want to sit there and be a butt? Okay, hang on a second. Come on. Come on. Uh. <laughs> I do love you, silly cat. Alright, how's that? Better? We better now? All right. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Here, get up. John, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... I fell in flowers again. That's weird. 
The first time I fell, I fell in flowers. This time, I fell in flowers. The first time I met Flo... Flow... Flowey? Are we gonna... Oh. Are we gonna meet Flowey again? Is that garbage? Like, what is this stuff? Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. One appears to be a Famicom. At the top. I mean, it's kind of like mirrored. You know, it's like... You split it halfway and it's... Right, Manny? Okay, good. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination. There you go. All right, well, yeah, 310 minutes. That's about five hours, a little bit more. That makes sense. A bike. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. Oh. What is this? A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand and it shows so shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one? Yes. You got the astronaut food. I think I, wait, what was dog residue again? A puzzle or something? I think I tried it when I was a kid. Astronaut food heals 21 HP for feeding a pet astronaut. That's funny. It's a DVD case for an anime. Which anime? Desperate claw marks cover the edges. That's funny. Oh, hey, it's the dummy. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Come with me. Join me. Really? Really? Ha ha ha. Too <laughs> what? <laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, Horrible. Shocking. Unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. What did I say? Oh, he's red. Mad dummy blocks the way. Check or talk? I, I guess talk. Uh... Talk? You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation, so probably just spare. No one is happy with this. Foolish, foolish, foolish! Oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey! Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you, forget I said anything about magic. Oh. Defeat you and take your soul. Okay, so first we're gonna watch out. And then. Hi. There you go. Mad Dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Ooh, this is hard. Oh, that was no good. Mad Dummy is bossing around its bullets. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Oh my. Ah, ah. Whoa. <sighs> then everything I want will be mine. Oh, wow, okay. Um, yeah, okay. Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Oh, what's the... Uh, ooh. 
Don't kill me, please. Mad Demi's getting caught in... What was their name again? Yeah, you don't care. No, nope. oh, there you go. Well, that's something. Whatever, whatever, whatever. That works. Feeble, feeble, feeble. It kind of reminds me of Pony Island a little bit. No. He stops moving when they shoot. That's annoying. Feeble, feeble, feeble. So I'm probably going to get killed. You know, I mean, it's just... Hit him! There you go. I feel like... He's got to be almost toast. <sighs> Alright. Feudal, feudal, futile! That's something. Hey, guys! Oh, jeez. Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well... Failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! Are they going to shoot at him now? On purpose? Ha 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 Now you see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words fill the room. I'm toast. Dummy bots. Magic missile. Oh no. Oh, I see. Smells like a clothing store. Dummy bots, try again. Uh, oh no. I... Oh, I'm itchy, like, right here. I died, Manny! You're going to be all right. John, stay determined! Wait, where do we... Yes. Right here, okay. I'll give you some dog poop. Rest your hand on the rusted bike. It's horn, wheezes a honk of despair. Yep. I guess I'll take the astronaut food. We're feeding a pet astronaut. Because <sighs> originally... No, we'll just say no. Do you want to beat it up now? If I skip it, it probably says the same thing, but if I beat it up, it's probably like, oh, you beat up a helpless dummy, did you? <laughs> Until you came along. Yeah, well, um, yeah, all right. Talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Oh, hey, 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 hey. There you go. Shoot it. Shoot it a bunch. Ow, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Forget I said anything about magic. Defeat you and take your soul. Well, that's not good. Use your soul to cross the barrier, which is... That's... It seems to be like folklore, though. Then everything I want will be mine. Hit it. There you go. You got a couple. Getting, ah, oh, son of a, getting caught in all over the dialogue box. What was their name? Oh, you're heartless. That's something, that's something. Yeah, it's like, I have to focus. How are we doing on time? 
So is he not a boss monster? Like, what's the deal with this? It, it said... What was the deal? Like, boss monsters, their souls... Hey, guys. Their souls live on for a moment. Now you'll see my true power relying on people that aren't garbage. All right, magic missile. Oh, that's not how I wanted it to go. Dummy bots, try again. Right. Oh, that hurts. There you go. Glares new mirror turns to you with the same expression. W bots are awful. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch. Doing an armless ska dance. W bots, final attack. Don't do that. No final attack for you. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no! Oh jeez. Oh jeez! Okay. Did that work? No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys. That's what you get for free, man. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. Whoa. I've got knives. Oh no! I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. Forever. 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 <laughs> what what the heck is this? Water? Urk, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Exit stage left. <laughs> Oh, it's the ghost! Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? It's, um... Naba... Nabaduk or something? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. No, that's cool, man. You guys looked like you were having fun. No, we really weren't. I'd rather have fun with you, man. I want to say hi. Oh, no. No, come back! Nabstabluk. Well, I'm going to head home now. No, um... Feel free to come with if you want. Yes. No pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. Let's go, man. Let's go. Just thought I'd offer. Oh, okay. Um. Let's go up. They typically have another save point. Right on. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Nope, let's go that way. Feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. How we do you doing alright, Jack? I have both kitties. Both kitties right here. Jack to my left. Manny in my lap now. Hmm. No, we'll go. Looks like we have what, like five exits? We'll go straight up. North Blook Acres. East Hotland. Blank or unknown Temi Village. I assume the unknown is west? Kind of weird, but we'll go straight middle up. Oh, okay, right. Which, which one is his? This one? Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Well, this CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Oh, are you okay, Minnie? Play it? Sure. Spook Wave. Ghoul a day music. Ooh. 
It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. Alright. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it, sometimes. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. No, you don't have to. I was just... I'm checking on everything. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Can I eat it? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. Well, that's cool, man. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tra <laughs> It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Sure. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Whoa. All right. I'm freaking out, man. Honestly, I did not expect this. I expected it to keep going for a bit. I, you know, for a minute I was like, let's see, let's lay down. I bet, it, you know, maybe three minutes something will happen. And then, uh, no, this was right a this was right away. I'm one with the universe, man. You just gotta you know. Hmm. The music is nice too. It's like calming. You know? <clears throat> for some reason it reminded me of um there's this one movie it might still be on Netflix it might not be it's called John Dies at the End it's worth a watch it's okay it's an okay movie it's um it's weird though it's worth at least one watch I think but, um, yeah, John dies at the end. It's interesting. I'm, yeah, it's, yeah, it's weird. It's, how can I sell it? Um... He's basically telling a journalist a story. Like, it's it's kind of like how it came to the, this point in his life where he's basically a... It's kind of like... Um... I don't know, I was going to say, like, X-Files or something, but it's like he's... He is one of a few people that knows... It's like a... Men in Black, except he's like a normal dude. You know, Men in Black, like, they know that aliens are real and deal with them and stuff like that. And he's like one of those guys, except he's just a regular guy. And he just, like... His job is, you know, exorcisms and all this other stuff. And But it's kind of a comedy. So, like, they go to exercise one house and it's like a... A demon that possesses a bunch of meat from a, a freezer and turns into like a giant golem made out of like ribs and sausages and stuff. And he's like, "You, this and this and that." And he's like, "No, man, you got the wrong guy. It's my other, it's my 
this other guy that you want. And he's like, what? He's like, don't worry, I'll, I'll call him. Yeah, 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 I got a meat demon here. Here you go, it's for you. It's, it's like that. It's kind of silly, kind of scary. Not really that scary. A little bit, but yeah, interesting. John dies at the end. Worth a watch, right, Manny? Okay, let's move. Well, that was nice. Thank you. That was nice. Let's uh, barge into this other house. It's locked. Okay, what is this way? Same guy? Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean... Welcome to Blook Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Really, I'm working. I don't want the boss to get mad at me, especially since I'm my own boss. Fair enough. Snail is counting dollar bills. I've been long overdue for a second house. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail, so, so snaileth Sam Buell. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Probably doesn't taste good. Snail races? Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. I guess we'll play. But only if the yellow snail wins, huh? Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Does it actually do anything? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my goodness! You're not doing anything! Go! Um... Race end. Do you have to, like, hit it a bunch of times until it bursts into fire or something? Oh, it looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Well. Alright. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. It just is. It's the dumbest thing ever. It's just... Uh... <laughs> uh... Alright. Let's save. We'll save again. Calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Waterfall quiet area. Wait, what was the, uh... Ah, kind of wish I could run a little bit, but it's alright. Blook Acres East Hotland Temi Village. Hotland. This? Is that the same dummy? What? 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 It's a living. A living what? So, th is that the mad dummy? Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Is this Undine's house? Don't know. Uh, what is this? Oh, hey, it's the duck! This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer, get ride or no. No, I'm good. I don't want to go back across. Does that mean... Because that was like before everything. Does that mean we're going we're gonna to have to go back? That's the question. Like we get to the end and then we have to go back. Feel a calming shrink. Yeah, I'll save. Why not? 
Okay. Yes. Um. Dog residue, I feel like we should hold on to that. Oh wow, we're uh, running out of stuff, running out of space. We'll put one of the nice creams over there. Just in case. So I came from here, right? Okay, what is this? Whoa, whoa there, I've got some neat junk for sale. Okay. Crab apple, heals 18, looks like a crab. CT, speed up in battle, okay. Uh, cloudy glasses, minus five defense, but invincible longer. I'm gonna say no. Oh, armor is five, but minus five total. I'm gonna say no. Torn notebook. Weapon two attack. Minus five, but invincible longer. Yes, because we're not really attacking. Raimini! Don't worry, man. Oh, sorry, you're... Five for 50. Don't you don't have to get up, just relax. Thanks, wahaha. Careful with that, no problem. Talk. Anything you want to know about yourself? I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you live through so much of it yourself. Wahaha. The emblem, the one behind him. Yeah, that's Toriel's emblem. Eh, you don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Wahaha. Sorry, man, I'm not trying to... No, no, don't, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. You don't have to go anywhere. You could just stay right here in my lap. That's the Delta Rune. Wait. Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom. Do you have to sit right there? Delta Rune is the. Toby Fox is working on a new game. Uh, a few months ago, whatever, maybe a year, he had a. Um. Okay, well, I will move the mouse then, Manny, because you. Just, you know. Because you want to sit on it. He released a demo alpha build beta build of something called Delta Rune. Now, at the time, I was just like, ah, oh, whatever, you know, because I haven't played. Um, you know, I hadn't played this. I didn't realize it was connected. It might not be, but the fact that it's called Delta Rune. Which is that? Seems like it. Seems like it is connected. Um, I mean, people that got it released it out there. They 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 put it out there. So who knows? The Kingdom of Monsters. Wahaha! Great name, huh? It's as oh, it's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Emblems meaning new. Okay, let's check this again. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolize us monsters below, and the wing circle above symbolizes something else. Not humans, potentially. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Not me, I hope. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. I think that's they said something about that when I died once. You're the only one that can free us, or something like that. Lately, the people have been talking, uh, taking a bleaker outlook, calling that wing circle the angel of death. Oh. I wonder if the pacifist run gives you the freedom ending or something like that, and the genocide run gives you the angel of death. 
ending. Like you get to choose if they're freed or if they die. That's interesting. A harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Wahaha. The king. King Fluffy Buns, he's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? What do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. We're coming back here. Okay. About Undine. Undine... Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. Might just save your hide. Wahaha. Yeah, right? There's a reason he's given items with the uh, longer invincibility. Be careful out there, kid. Can I sell anything? Uh, let's say torn notebook. Equip the torn notebook. Can I sell... Can I sell anything? Or is he gonna... Oh, crap. Huh, I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. I don't remember. Don't be shy now. What did he... He was... Be careful out there, kid. He was about to say something. Whoa there. I've got some neat junk for sale. Alright. Careful out there, kid. Don't sit on the mouse mani. How are we doing on time? Use the box? Yes. Because I would like to get rid of... Valley shoes, manly bandana, stick. What if I say astronaut food? No, I am... It's full. I suppose I could drop this stuff, though. And yeah, we'll see. Okay. Um, Man, I think I'm going to stop. Because we're right at a save point. It's probably going to be about... According to how I play, it'll probably be about another 45 minutes to an hour before we get to another one. Ah, I don't want to stop. I want to keep going. I want to keep going. <laughs> so that is that is one thing that's interesting. Let me just let me just talk for a couple of minutes here, real fast. Um, why are you sniffing the speaker? Why? Um. You know, just just thinking about like you know possible channel termination and stuff like that. I I don't know if that'll happen. I assume it will eventually, but who knows? Who knows? Um, that's you know if if like I said, I hate asking for the you know likes, subscribes, comments, all that stuff because it makes me feel one like um boasting or bragging or being arrogant or something but two even though it's something so little it still makes me feel like um i don't want to ask people for stuff if that makes sense you know even however small of an inconvenience it is i don't want to i don't want to ask um i would just rather make the videos put them out there let people discover them on their own and if they like them then they can then they can like or subscribe or whatever, right? Um, with the, the failure aspect, it's the same way. Like, if, if the channel never takes off or anything, um, that's that's totally fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. At least on my own. I'm not so fond or okay of being helped to not succeed, right? And there's different definitions of success, um, but just... If, if YouTube were to, uh, you know, just bury the channel so no one would ever see it, that I wouldn't be super thrilled about because I want to fail on my own or or succeed 
on my own. Like, I want it to be up to me, not up to the whims of someone else or some other political agenda, you know? Um, so there's that. Now, like with, with this stuff, I enjoy this. And strangely enough, like playing new games, I don't really do much of that outside of stuff for the channel because, you know, if there's a game that I really want to play, I'm like, oh man, I should really play that for the channel. That way you guys have the benefit of seeing the blind playthroughs. Because that's something that I really like is if there's a game that I really like, seeing other people play it for the first time, that's really interesting to me. Um, and I gotta stop saying um, but I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to, to be honest. The, uh, hmm, hang on. Hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, I'll feed you in like 10 minutes, five, two minutes, whatever. But, um, You know, so I just play either games that I've previously played or, or do other stuff or, uh, you know, some of the time is just spent, you know, rendering and processing the video and, and all that. So I have thought about if the channel were, gonna, were to get terminated, would I continue making videos? Would I do the whole bit shoot thing or continue doing the bit shoot thing? And I'm still not 100% sure simply because I think, I mean, straight up, I'd have more time. I'd probably have about, you know, an extra hour or two each day. So that's huge. But who knows? Because, I mean, I do like, I do like making the videos. I do gain from them. Um... You know, I gain as far as, you know, personal character development, if you want to call it that. Just, uh, it's nice, like, seeing you guys, right? Some of you guys, uh, the, the ones in the comments. Seeing all the comments, that's cool. That's really, I like that a lot, actually. And then seeing people comment that have commented on previous other series, like, you know, Fine Carpa, Zekuto... Or is it Kudo, however you pronounce it? Uh, 797, you know, Ms. Bloom. Uh, you know, any of, any of you guys that have commented previously that have, you know, uh, you know, left comments with or engaged with or, or whatever, that is awesome to me. Like, just seeing that, I'm like, oh, hey, it's, it's you guys again. That's really great. And that's something that I don't know if bigger channel would really be able to do like I don't want to be huge because then then the comment section turns to to shite and uh you know I can't really uh talk yeah I mean you know what I mean leave you know discuss things with you guys as much um but I think how it is right now maybe a little bit more so maybe a little bit more discussion would be good and and not um a little bit more uh consistency right so that um you know this is an rpg not everyone's gonna like rpgs or or undertale some people might really like orwell or what was another series that didn't do i mean most of them to be what are you doing are you you leave that alone. <laughs> leave that alone. You know, Dungeon Siege 3. Can you even see me? Oh, there's me. Um, you know, any of those videos that... Because I don't expect you guys to like everything. It would, it would be nice, but that's just not not realistic at all. So what I expect is, you know, you guys maybe like one series, then... I do a few games that you you just have no interest in, and then another one, then you come back, and you know it's it's whatever. So, 
more just kind of a baseline consistency. So some people might like RPGs, some people might like some of the lesser known games, and that way it's kind of even across the board. At least that's kind of what what I would prefer, just so there's like a little constant uh, amount of activity, I guess, is, is the right way to say it. So. But who knows what'll happen? I, I really do hope these are enjoyable for you guys. I'm... I have no idea. I think they're fine. I mean, <laughs> it's... It is definitely a little bit more... Not slower, that's not the right term, but like a more measured pace. I am sorry, I do not mean to be yawning so much. It's, uh... It is starting to get late, though. But just, um... Because these, like, these are... They're almost like live streams. That's how I have intent to set them up. You know, the... Right here below me, the Undertale picture. I kind of like that because it showed, you know... I mean, you know, it's... It's the game that we're playing, but in the future, maybe a chat window right there or something. That would be, that would be nice because it's kind of like, hanging out with your friends or, or, um, you know, some other just like, not, not time wasting activity necessarily, but just like hanging out or whatever. I don't really like the where people do a playthrough of a game even if it's blind and they cut they just take the exciting moments out and they don't take they don't keep the lulls in because you need the the calmer moments in order to give the more exciting moments more potency and then plus for me the calmer moments are when I can just BS and talk and stuff and if you know the the goal would be not only just to do this but also to do this in the form of, of live stream and stuff and so when it's calmer I'll be able to like actually talk to you guys you know see the chat read the chat answer questions just BS that's kind of my goal will I get there who knows who knows but maybe one day you know because my thing is it's never, it's never, um, how to put this? I've never had massive immediate success, right? For me, it's always been, in everything that I do, it's always been about the grind. You know, you put your head down, you work through stuff, and then it's, it's kind of the... Oh, okay. Manny's getting the litter box. He destroyed it earlier, so hopefully, hopefully he's he's uh, good this time around. But no, the um, it's it's the phrase. It takes ten years to make a to become an overnight success, and that's kind of my philosophy. Is you know I've been doing this maybe maybe a year and a half, um, and just that's kind of how I feel. Like I'm just gonna keep working on it. Hopefully YouTube doesn't doesn't kill my channel. Hopefully BitChute continues to do okay and improve and stuff. And, uh, you know, I don't want this to become wildly successful because I want to have a little bit more regular conversations and stuff. Um, but I do hope that we can become a little bit more of a consistent group, I suppose. That's not... Regardless of what I do, I'd like to have the same amount of people that pay attention. And I'm, I intend to do variety, so... You know, you guys might not like... You, uh, you guys might like this, you might not like the next thing, but the thing after that, you might. So, that's just kind of what I'm... What I'm hoping for is just, you know, whatever happens, there's still people that support me and stuff. I know that's really super cheesy. 
That's okay, though. I just hope you guys enjoy this. That's really it. That's... <laughs> anyway, let's... Uh, I'm gonna save again so we can... Uh, kind of accurately... Gate... Accurately document... What have we done? Really? Did I wait that... Was it about 12? Yeah, it was about 12 minutes. Son of a... Anyway, I will stop here. That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Um, I really hope these uh, episodes and stuff stay up for a long time. I would ask, you know, if you do enjoy these videos, please like, comment, subscribe, whatever. I'm not talking about just now. I'm talking about, you know, hopefully five, five years from now, ten years from now. Whenever you come across this, if you do enjoy these videos... You know, I still hope I'm doing it by then, but regardless, uh, I saw a little comment. Not a comment. Uh, there was a couple people discussing Binding of Isaac in one of the other episodes, and I was like, this is awesome. They're having like a little conversation. That was really, that was really great. So that's kind of what, uh, you know, even if not, I'm not involved, it's just the fact that other people are kind of connecting with other people that's that's outstanding so what is your guys unique positive moment for today for me it's actually this beer it's the sisyphus sisyphus the guy that pushes the boulder up the hill oh wow i am sorry it's probably because i'm petting jack um but that's my unique positive moment hopefully your guys is just as good if not better hopefully better of course and I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.